Hello and welcome to this uh, video. From uh, this video, we are going to uh, start the uh, course. The objective of the course is uh, design of a BLDC motor with these properties and compare it with uh, the benchmark induction motor as I uh, explained uh, in the previous video. These uh, are two uh, induction motors that uh, I considered uh, in this course. We will review the data sheet of these uh, two motors and uh, we are going to uh, design a BLDC motor for the same uh, uh, frame number and compare with uh, this induction motor. Actually, uh, this is good. Uh, if you want to design any type of uh, electric motors, you can use the induction motor as your benchmark because induction motor is an industrial motor and we have many good uh, standards, uh, good information uh, about uh, uh, these motors. As you know, we have uh, different uh, efficiency classes, i.e. efficiency classes. This uh, standard number, uh, IEC standard, introduces uh, efficiency classes of uh, electric motors. We have uh, IE1 efficiency, IE2 efficiency, IE3 and IE4. IE1 efficiency is a standard efficiency, uh, IE2 is a high efficiency, IE3 premium efficiency, and IE4 is a super premium efficiency. Uh, we also have uh, IE5 efficiency, that is uh, the next concern of the efficiency uh, in electric motors. The motor that I consider it here, these two uh, motors are IE1 efficiency, as you can see here uh, on this uh, nameplate, uh, IE1. And uh, in this uh, standard, uh, we have uh, equations and uh, procedures to calculate the efficiency of every class versus its uh, rating and uh, its uh, frequency. This standard is for a single SP3 phase a cage induction motors. This uh, graph shows the efficiency class versus the motor output power. So as you can see here, when the output power uh, is low, the efficiency is low. Even for IE3 or IE4, IE4 efficiency class. Uh, because when the motor output power is low, the percentage of total losses in compared with the output power of motor is high. So uh, it's uh, obvious uh, that uh, why the efficiency uh, should be a low number and uh, when uh, the output power of the motor increases, its uh, efficiency uh, increases too because the percentage of total losses in compared with the output power becomes uh, lower and lower. So as you can see here in this uh, graph, in this picture, uh, efficiency classes are close to each other for uh, higher output powers. And uh, here, as you can see, when the output uh, power, output power of the motor is higher than three kilowatts, the efficiency for all classes should be higher than uh, 80%. Okay, so our case, our motor is here, 0.75, uh, 1 HP. 
And for IE1 efficiency class is higher than 70% is around 72. If you see the efficiency number here for Siemens motor is 72.1%. You can use this table to see the efficiency of motor, efficiency of the motor for different uh, efficiency classes versus the output power and the uh, number of poles. Our motor is a four pole induction motor 1 HP and as you can see here the minimum acceptable efficiency for IE1 class is 72.1. One and uh, we are going to see if we design a BLDC motor, can we reach uh, higher efficiency classes uh, or not? Actually, yes, because uh, in induction motor, as we will talk in uh, next videos, when we are going to calculate the motor main dimensions, we consider a high number for magnetic loading actually if we use nodium magnets or strong magnets but if we use uh, ferrite magnets or low energy magnets the size of the BLDC motor could be uh, in uh, the same frame or in the same size of existing induction motors but uh, uh, we will check and uh, compare, we will review the uh, design parameters. Actually, in BLDC motors, we can increase the uh, number of poles easily and uh, reduce the motor size. Okay. Uh, one important uh, standard number, IEC standard, is uh, 72. Uh, one this uh, standard is uh, this uh, standard determines the frame size of uh, induction motors if you are uh, already an uh, uh, already a design engineer you uh, should be familiar with uh, this uh, standard number but if you are uh, a student or a beginner uh, in the field of uh, electric motor design you can search and read uh, this uh, standard. This uh, standard determines uh, frame sizes. These sizes that we can see here from side view and uh, the front view. We have uh, many sizes, but uh, some of them are more important, like uh, A here in this figure, and B in this figure, and H. Uh, this is a foot-mounted uh, induction motor, foot-mounted frame, and the A is the front, or uh, actually the distance between the holes, front holes of two legs. Uh, B is the distance, axial distance between uh, the central two holes, uh, foot holes of the same uh, foot and H is the uh, distance of the center of the shaft from the ground. Actually, the frame number is uh, uh, known by the value of H. If I open the data sheet of uh, this uh, induction motor, Uh, if I open the data sheet of this induction motor, you can see the frame size here. That is 80 M. Actually, 80 is uh, the value of H. Uh, as you can see here in this table, that is known as frame number 80 M, the value of A is 125 the value of b is 100 and so on other uh, dimensions so you can see these uh, dimensions here this is the value of a uh, 125 mm uh, this uh, length 
uh, B these lengths, the axial distance between uh, centers of these two holes on uh, this foot. This is uh, the vague motor and uh, this is uh, Siemens motor. So as you can see here, however, the geometry of the frame is different for uh, these two motors, but uh, these dimensions are the same because uh, uh, these are compatible with this uh, standard. What is A? A is equal the inside diameter of the frame or uh, outer stator diameter of the motor lamination a stator lamination right because uh, we should place the stator core into this uh, frame so as you can see here the outer stator diameter is 125 and uh, this is uh, one of our design constraints okay in every uh, design uh, we have electrical and uh, mechanical constraints uh, here as you can see here uh, we have two mechanical constraints for outer stator diameter and uh, the motor stack lengths what is the outer uh, diameter uh, actually the outer diameter is uh, uh, di diameter of this uh, largest diameter of the stator lamination. Okay. This is the frame size or frame number that is ATM. So as you can see here in this figure, the distance of the center of this shaft uh, from the ground is 80 mm and uh, this is uh, called the frame size of the motor as reported in a uh, data sheet of this uh, uh, Siemens uh, motor. What about the motor axial length or uh, actually axial lengths or actually a stack lengths of the core plus end winding plus extra space between the end winding and caps uh, rear cap uh, front uh, cap of the frame this figure shows the rotor of the benchmark induction motor as you can see here the stack length of the motor is 70 mm this is uh, uh, rotor core and this is the stator core uh, as you can see here the stack length of both is 70 mm for rotor we have for rotor of induction motors we have these two end rings and uh, for a stator we have end winding and this extra space okay so uh, yes this is the another mechanical constraint that we have for our design. Uh, as you can see here, the maximum stack length should be lower than or equal 70 mm. And uh, if I want to uh, explain you the electrical constraints, uh, already i explained you uh, mechanical constraints uh, these two mechanical constraints and uh, these are uh, electrical constraints the desired efficiency or the efficiency of the motor should be higher than 72.1 percent this is for induction motor and the power factor should be higher than 0.8 as you can see here in the data sheet of the motor the efficiency for full load uh, should be higher than 72.1 and the power factor should be uh, higher than 0.8 but in uh, BLDC motor uh, we don't have uh, this concept Already, uh, 
only I wrote uh, this constraint on efficiency and uh, I considered uh, 500 volts as the voltage of the DC link uh, that uh, should uh, fed three phase of uh, three phases of this uh, motor. The line to line voltage of the induction motor is 400 volts. This is AC voltage. And if we uh, rectify this AC voltage and regulate it, uh, we can have uh, this voltage. Actually, uh, I consider that we will use a three phase rectifier. And uh, we are going to fed this motor uh, with a three phase voltage. And this is the line to line uh, voltage of uh, the three phase power supply. We rectify it and then we apply this DC voltage for running all this uh, BLDC motor. Okay, I think uh, it's uh, enough for this video. In this video, I just wanted to explain you the properties of uh, the benchmark induction motor and the properties of the BLDC motor. Uh, that we are going to design and from the next video we will uh, start uh, we will uh, start uh, uh, to uh, uh, review the properties of uh, BLDC motors and uh, I will uh, give you explanation about the operation principles of this motor uh, okay, uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.